Theme song. That looks stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> Go on, college. No, we don't need a service anymore. Oh, it's free. Okay, use it. <laughs> Always take advantage of free education opportunities. And feel free to steal education as well. Or is allowed to steal education. That exam is piss easy. I want to. I want to win that. Yeah. Did you know you can just go to universities? Can you? Yeah. Okay. They don't like. They don't take role lectures. You can just go sit in lectures. No one knows. Cool. You can just. You can literally. You can go learn anything. Just don't get the piece of paper. Yeah. And honestly, like, you, if if you can fucking fake it, no one will notice that anyway. All right. Can we go up. No. It's a descent level. I mean, like, try and think of a... Again, another fucking new way to play. Okay, so the bird's the hurt box. <laughs> that was a fucking interesting way of solving that problem. Because I thought we were the hurt box. No, it's the other way around. Uh... Someone said that in the YouTube comments. I Actually... What? They said, um, on the bramble levels, you can actually rest the Kongs on the brambles. It's the bird that's the herd box. Oh. Good on you. You know, our comment nervous. section actually being, you know, useful for once. <laughs> Instead of writing nice bullet shirt. I know, I like the nice bullet shirt guy, because, ha 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 ha, you fucking bullet for my valentine. <laughs> fucking homo. Um... So yeah, nice bullet shot. After one, That's me. After That's actually me. I'm not even going to lie anymore. I'm not after gonna... like one to two videos, it's okay. After every video... No, yeah, after I, every not, video. I'm not vibing it anymore. Um, nice bullet shot. Thanks. No. Who's the bullet for, Aaron? My Valentine. <laughs> so, I don't celebrate Valentine today. What a, a unique... One might almost say edgy viewpoint. Normally you give nice, you give sweeties to your sweet. I don't. I give rotted fetid aids. <laughs> fetid is a great word. Fetid is one of my favorites, yeah. I've always enjoyed fetid. I like the proper fucking English spelling of it too, like F-O-E-T-I-D, yes. not like F-E-T-I-D. Because that just looks like a retard who can't spell fetid. Which, really, I think is a lot of American English. Okay. Listening. America. You fucking Webster's dictionary. Oh, Nobody likes Webster, okay? <laughs> That was, he was the shitty fucking Gary Coleman knockoff. It wasn't even a real midget, he was just a kid. Did you see the fucking, the McCree America video? No. Like, in the summer games, McCree's got an American skin, right? Yeah. And, my man America, fuck yeah, but with like McCree just doing things. <laughs> Flashbang, why did we give him this? It's kind of fucking bullshit. Why are you changing fucking yeah, You have parts? to, really? it makes it, yeah. the order does it. Oh. I thought you just I thought it was an option if you jumped off him at some point. No, sometimes you hit a point and it's just like, no. For fuck's sake, that was a weird B. Damn you weird B. Yeah, just hold up and down to change the speed. There's no button pressing. Huh. Where I was fucking up, so See, I was like, just drops. Alright. Oh, you know how you're supposed to Ah, oh, that banana would have been a hook. Hook bananas. Damn it. Huh. Do we have enough to go through here now? Wait, gun. Oh Body. no, we can go through there. Body goals. Where does this take us? Holy fuck, where are we? Is that a wall? This is the lost world. Now let's not do this. Why? Because they're really fucking hard. Well, yeah, what do we get for them? Nothing. You just get, you get more completion on the game. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. It is cool, but... We're in a good spot right now. I don't want to destroy our confidence because gonna... it will literally shit on you in there. I'm in a comfortable place, and I don't think adding a child to our relationship is going to help. Fucking spin off! Oh, gee. okay. He he does. He recovers quick. Been doing some fucking. You see that episode now. of Family Guy where Stewie like impregnates himself with Brian's DNA? Oh, that's a that's a that's a funny one. Actually, well, the Stewie and Brian ones are usually are uh, because they actually you know. Our characters. Yeah. As opposed to the rest of them. Is there anything down here? Actually? I feel like there's something might be down here. Going to like... Look, game, I could stomp on mice at home. Oh, now fuck you! <laughs> cry, you stupid tart. Get up. Hashtag feminism. <laughs> Don't let the boys see you cry, otherwise they'll never let you hear the end of it, and they won't take you on any more dangerous fucking crocodile adventures to go beat down the poor economically deprived Kremlins. 
We're only doing this because, you know, the Kongs abducted their ancestors and took them to Kong Island for their. Alright, slow down. Their banana That's not cool. farms. Oh, fucking two for two one. Two for one. Rat special. Oh, watch out for the sneak. I think he's actually called Sneak. Fine, Jump on his head, don't run into him. I know not to fucking. I thought I was. Right, See, that was now look, cool. that's that's what I mean. Like I'm getting the top there. Like yeah, he's coming in, but I'm not. You know, I'm not in front of him. Fucking rare. Command you release an update patch to fix this glaringly broken game program that you've unleashed on a unwitting population of impressionable youth like me. You know what they should do to, to indie devs? They should uh, they should not let them patch the game until a month after it's been out. Yeah. It's called the No Man's Sky rule. <laughs> just fucking any, just finish. Don't do the big game first. Maybe, like maybe. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Please still be there. Fucking Aaron. Fuck. <laughs> fucking Aaron. <laughs> Victory from the hands of defeat. I'm, I'm mad, Aaron. I know. Needed those lives, Aaron. It's all right. We got Squitter. He's pretty sweet. Anyone who has that many trainers is pretty sweet. That is fucking true. You reckon they're pumps? I mean, do you think he needs pumps? Because I reckon he's got a pretty good weight distribution. No, they just look like high tops, I think. Yeah, he's probably got excellent posture. Um, and that's important. I want some high tops. Yeah, don't. All the Nintendo high tops. But $180 can get fucked. I've spent that much on dress packs. shoes, but that's it. Like, I'm not gonna spend... You know, I never use those. Yeah. Like, those are dress shoes, those are for weddings and, you know, the apocalypse and picking a fight with death to see if I ever have to leave. Um, they aren't for fucking shenanigans. But yeah. I'd probably, I'd probably switch up to my Dunlops when the fight was actually going on. You fucking fetid lump of cunts! <laughs> so I saw him coming from space. Yeah, I didn't know. I th he thought he was one of the ones that go up, down, up. Down, not up left. He fucking Robin Williams me like in fucking Peter Pan. <laughs> Peter Pan and life. Oh, Robin. Is it like what dreams may come? Is that what death is like? Dude. Oh, that little that, that guy's an eager beaver. I didn't know they rushed you now. Where even are we? I went up. I wanted to see what was there. Huh. I think. What? <laughs> I was twirling. Roll frames ended. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Fred Durst. Uh, never gonna stop being funny. I don't apologize for anything, Internet. Fred Durst, give us a call. We love to talk. I want to dust your bubble. <laughs> oh, this is where you were. Okay. Big, large, huge. Oh, watch this little cunt. He's like he fucking yeah. You can't jump on him. That. Oh, he does too. Mm, clever. A little. Look, that's buff red dust. Me thinks. We should make a game that's Donkey Kong vs. Fred Durst. I'm surprised that actually hasn't happened. Like, he's in so many video games. Mm. He's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Because it was something of, like, he literally had it as if you wanted to use Limp Bizkit's fucking music. And if you were a PS2 game, you had Limp Bizkit's <laughs> music. Um, yeah, Fred Durst got to come along for the ride. I wonder what the other fucking members of Limp Bizkit fucking feel about that, you fucking Jesus shit. You're probably okay with it. Um, oh, no, I don't... I literally don't know any other members of... Limp Biscuit. Well, there's Limp and there's Biscuit. Oh, okay. No, there's Limp, Biz, and Kurt. And Dead Frost. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> what? What? It wasn't Grimace part of it? For I a think while? so. You know, if Fred. <laughs> if Fred Durst opens up a deli, it'll be called Fred Worst. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> oh my 
Like, who could forget other Limp Biscuit members like Ranky? And don't open the door, Mum. Send your salad toss. Nice. Fred Burst of Pimpley's Fred Burst. <laughs> fucking hit you with something. That's like the my friend at work. His name is Shamrock, and I made all the jokes about his. Wait, name. no, is his name actually Shamrock? Is his name Shamrock? Yes. First name or last name? First name. That's not okay. What child abuse is that? I didn't know Irish people did ghetto names. Is he Irish? I think so. I fucking want to be. But anyway, I, I I changed the he's the first part of his. There's no way his name is really Shamrock. It is, dude. It is. That's I fucking his license. Holy shit. So, anyway, I'm like, it's ridiculous. Dude, you know when you're putting on your socks in the morning? Your sham socks. <laughs> I just replaced the last part of his name with different things. Yeah, that's just. Why do anything else, ever? I'd stop work, I just hover around and annoy Shamrock. Is he like. Is he like second gen Australian? Like, does he have an Irish he's from, accent? He's from Tasmania. Right, so he just sounds like a fucking average fucking yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. G'day. <laughs> Shamrock McBoomerang. <laughs> Australian. If you change your name to Shamrock the McBoomerang, so anyone out there, we will give you exactly five Australian dollars. Those are dollary dues. Which Those is are the good. equivalent like of like three American dollars. Yeah. But ours are better because they're plastic. Yeah, you can't destroy it. See, the American dollars you can like lose and they can get destroyed in the wash and shit. That's, that shit does not happen with Australian money. Fuck off, Axl Rose birds. <laughs> I don't know why, but they just remind me of Axl Rose. Might as well swoop. Swoop. That's... Oh, fuck David it. Lee Roth. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> I think it's the bandana. David Lee Roth. Rock and roll medic. Uh, don't, like, don't touch the unkillable bees. Unkillable bees! Unkillable. That's not good. Shh. Uh, fucking just go. It's a fine art form, okay? Oh, isn't it fucking what the fuck happened there? <laughs> Wow. I pressed the jump button and the shoot button and it should have web ball instead. <sighs> Alright, so what's... Oh, that's so yeah, flump. then you press it again and it goes... Oh. Flump. Yeah, you can aim those. Just like my sperm. They're aimable. Spider, spider, okay, so if spider, you spider. If you shoot another one, that one you're on is going to disappear. Yeah. Steak and eggs and eggs and steak. That's what you have for breakfast. Delicious. That's a good breakfast. Any sort of meat for breakfast, I agree with. I like breakfast meats. Another whore working the street for breakfast meat. Mike Milligan. <laughs> I'm not gonna make that. <laughs> Alright, look. That's on me. I was busy thinking of um, <laughs> breakfast meats. Yeah, well, there's a moment in Fargo, the series, season two of Fargo, and there's a basically a hitman criminal um, called Mike Milligan, who the guy's playing apparently Shocker in the new Spider-Man. Oh, movie. cool. Um, yeah, but he was, he was like one of the best parts of it. And there's just this bit where he's kind of like just finished fucking the daughter of the head of the crime family he's trying to kill, and he's like she's trying to like pull some dangerous shit of her own, which is ill-advised. And he's just telling the story about how some girl tried that and now she's turning tricks for breakfast meat. <clears throat> and he has, this, he has this really distinct accent and diction, like, just sort of where it's just... Diction really... is some of my favorite parts of actors. Just, my name is Mike Milligan, and he's, he's, he seems to be one of the few characters in that who recognizes the absurdity of what's going on around him, and That's good. that kind of makes him really interesting. And this is a show that has aliens. It has is a show that has no business having aliens, but somehow they managed to make a show where we accepted that. You go weaving. Right, don't has, fuck this up. You go weaving has good diction. I like this. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got a great fucking great sort of speaking pattern. Mike Milligan. Like for the horror that people say that Matrix Three was, I quite enjoyed it, and just mainly because of Hugo Weaving and his fucking speeches in that movie. Fucking just the way his voice is and 
Really, and you, you you really can't go very wrong getting Hugo Weaving to give a villain speech. Yeah. Like it's just gonna be good. You have been bypassed. <laughs> in the back, like Tupac. I don't know. Was on a car. I think so. Most people do. Relax. I wish my sperm could do this. Like. I don't know, like, people just let it de What are you doing? Like, fucking. I fuck. I'm scared. Okay? Yeah, look, you can make that jump. Like, because you're at the midpoint, so that's safe. You just gotta wait till he goes down, and then. Okay, that's. That was almost a fucking nightmare. Alright, now see, this is. This is getting a bit more of a challenge. Fucking. Fucking. I'm not going back that way. Fuck so you. Fast. Ah! Leapies! Yeah, that's not. And you don't have any health, so just let's get rid of these guys. <clears throat> get up, get up, where it's safe. Man, those guys are fucking eager. Look at them. He's got the rapey fingers. He really oh, fucking does. Q level. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, they seem to have found a way that is not exactly cheating, but it's against the spirit of the rules. I learned from Mario Brothers 3 in the fucking feather. Uh, feather. Alright, what's going on? Uh, Oh shit, you just D8, you fucking careful. Oh, that's a quick beaver. Right. That's a shame. Wouldn't the spider give us like fucking a balloon of lives or something? 